Columbus area will be moving in a southeasterly direction. So that's why there is the belief and we can start to see some higher rain accumulations in the Flint River counties, uh, mostly along and north of Highway 84, I think, for the night. But this old front, uh, which has been slipping to the south over the last couple of days, it's not going to be quick to move out. So that's why there's going to be the expectation of more rain spreading even south of the state line. So passing periods of heavy rain across South Georgia through the early part of the night and then early in the morning, maybe another wave of heavier rain for the southern extent and over Appalachee Bay. This will not be continuous nonstop rain. It will come and go, but when it comes in, it can move over the very same areas that recently had heavy rain. So we could have another round of downpours across southern Georgia, a few thunderstorms, not necessarily severe thunderstorms, but we can certainly have accumulating rainfall, and I think that's going to be the main first alert to drive home. Not everybody gets the same amount of rain, but I'd say in, on average, next 24 hours, we can go from about half an inch to over three inches of rain in some local areas. And when we tack on rain expectations next several days, it could maybe add up to at least three or four inches in a broader sense. Flash flood watch through late tonight across southwest Georgia over towards I-75 in south Georgia. With the clouds and rain activity, don't expect the heat to build all that much. We'll get into the 80s with morning lows in the 70s, but at least through Friday, high rain coverage anticipated. And again, most areas can see upwards of three to four inches at least through the beginning of the weekend.